Biology made easy. Hey guys, this is Vinayak Naik and today we are going to discuss about the Human Genome Project, HGP. So Human Gene Project was launched to find out the complete DNA sequence of the whole human genome. So this project was started in the year 1990 by the US Department of uh, Health and Energy partnered by Welcome Trust United Kingdom in collaboration with Japan, France, Germany and China. The HGP project was completed in the year 2003. So now what is the main methodology that were adopted to find out the sequence of the human genome? So actually there were two methodologies adopted. One was expressed sequence tags, ESTs and the other being sequence annotation. Express sequence tags or ESTs are those in which uh, entire identifying genes were done, all those genes. So identification of all those genes were done, so which were expressing RNA. So that means DNA is copied into RNA, we know that. But identification of all those genes that were expressed into RNA, so that was a methodology adopted and known as ESTs. Then sequence annotation. Sequence annotation under this, the total DNA present in a single human cell, cell was isolated, right? And pieces of this and the DNA, small sequences of these DNA were amplified. That means their number was increased, multiplied by using bacteria and yeast as the vectors. Okay, then there are certain goals of HGP also. So what are the goals of the HGP? The goals of HGP were one, uh, to identify all the approximate 20,000 to 25,000 genes present in a human genome. Next, to determine the sequences of, of about uh, 3,000 or say 30 uh, billion base pairs or sorry, 30 billion base pairs, then to uh, store all these informations in a databases. Fourth one, to improve the tools or say devices, like say uh, to develop certain software wherein all these data can be analyzed or the data can be analyzed, data regarding uh, the sequences of this base pairs or the nucleotide bases. So all these can be uh, analyzed in a, using a particular software. Finally, the goal was to address certain issues known as LZ issues. LZ means ethical, legal and social issues. Those issues which may arise out from the project, okay? Then, so then we look into the salient features of the Human Genome Project. So now these salient features were actually the uh, outcomes or the results we can say. So it was found that the human genome contains 3,164.7 million bases. Second, about 99.9% .9 of the bases are exactly same. There's no change actually, exactly same in all the people. Okay, so that means we are uh, uh, Homo sapiens. Okay, so uh, have a similar set of nucleotide, nucleotide bases, and that's about 99.9 percent. .9%. So third, total number of estimated genes was about 30,000. The average gene, an average gene consists of, consists of about 3,000 bases. Here, total number of estimated genes is how much? Yeah, 30,000. But actually, so approximately, so the goal was 20,000 to 25,000 genes, no? So the, what the result the, or the outcome was, okay, uh, about 30,000 genes. Now average gene consisted of 3,000 bases. Next salient feature was the largest number of, sorry, the largest gene. The largest known human gene is the dystrophin gene, which contained about 2.4 million bases. Then chromosomes. So out of the 23 pairs of chromosomes, or you can say out of 46 chromosomes, chromosome number one has the maximum number of chromosomes. So maximum is how much? 2,968 genes were present in the chromosome number one. So while Y chromosome has only 231 genes, Y chromosome, the chromosome present in the males, the sex chromosome present in the males. Next, functions of over 50,000 or sorry, or say 50% of the genes are yet to be known. So that means to say that only about 50% or around 50% of the genes are known, but still 
the discovery of more than 50% genes are yet to be uh, deduced. Then, almost uh, two percent of the genes or the genome code for proteins. So that means to say that 98% of the genes they do not code for proteins. We call them as junk DNA or junk genes. The other point, varying repetitive sequences make up a large amount of human genome. So varying repetitive sequences of DNA that is used in DNA fingerprinting. So now these repetitive sequences, the repetitive sequences of the DNA are nothing but they are the DNA segments okay, of uh, or, or sequences of DNA. So that may be in 100 to 1000 times, we call them as copy numbers. Now these repetitive sequences are also set, are technically called by the name satellites. Finally, about 1.4 billion single base differences were also present, were came to be found, okay? And these uh, single base differences were called SNPs, which is abbreviated form or a short form of small nucleotide polymorphism, okay? So with this, so you understood the, about the D, uh, introduction of HGP, then the methodologies adopted to uh, deduce the HGP, goals of the HGP, and finally, the important features of the Human Genome Project, okay? So finally, don't forget to <coughs> subscribe this channel. Thank you.